Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So over here, I have web code running. So we're back to our web application penetration testing series. And we're going to look under A4, which is on XML external entities. All right, so let's go ahead and click on it. So XML external entity is a way where we will understand about how XML operates and how it is being parsed into the web application system for processing and what kind of vulnerabilities and results can we obtain as the server process certain XML instructions. All right, so this leads us to the XML external entity attack. So XML ex entity right, allow us to use tags to define what kind of content is going to be passed from an XML document into the system. All right, so there are internal, external, as well as parameter entities. And as you can see here, we have a document type definition, document type definition. And we have the doc type. So in this case, we have BLOG, all right? And in the beginning, we have XML version 1.0, and there's a other options that you can input, all right? So we can see all these different details. And of course, it's always, all right, being opened up by certain tagging, like block, followed by closing of block. So very similar, all right, to how you look at HTML as you structure, structure the HTML. And in this case, it will be for XML. All right, so what happens, right, as you can see from this XML version equal 1.0. So we have a doc type and we have the entity. All right, so we have entity, JS, and we define it as Joe Smith. All right, and of course here we have the output, all right, which is the author and JS semicolon. So this will pull out Joe Smith as a result and it goes into the parser and from the parser, it will then just return block and author information. All right, so as you can see here, Right, so this help us be able to actually create constant, be able to put certain information. And of course, here we have a Java application XML to get data from the client to the server. So as you can see here, once again, right, it's sent into the Java XML parser and after which, all right, it helps define certain information. Okay, so as a result of that, this is what we call the XML external entity attack. All right, so this is the part where we push information into the web application system or the parser, and the parser will actually pull out certain information for us, all right, like system issued commands, the roles of users, certain confidential information, all right, certain directories, listing of directories, files and folders inside a particular part of the server all right so this is the place where we can launch all these different attacks by uploading an xml document or information xml information into the web application server and system and that will result all right in returns of all this different kind of instructions and commands all right so on number three all right so here's an example so in this case, right, we have a normal XML entity, right? So we have the doc type author, we have the element, all right? And we have the JS, Joe Smith. And of course, this is under the author. So you get process over here on the last row. So over here, we have the external DTD declaration, all right? So we can actually do a definition. So in this case, all right, we have the email. So there's a to, from, subject, and body. All right, so this is again, an email.dtd, all right? That is being sent into all right, the system. And of course we have the email DDD. So you got email to, from, subject and body. And then you have all this PC data. So an XML parser right, is configured to allow external DTD or entities. And we can change the XML snippet of the following. So as you can see here, so what we are entering is JS system and we're using file etc pass wd, right? So this will list down and help us enumerate a list of users inside the system, right? So when you do this inside the system, it will run the instruction for us and it will return under njs semicolon as a list of users, all right? So again, this allow us to run certain system commands, instructions, all right, reverse shell and so many different options for us to actually launch the attack from an XML 